next episode of Do It Yourself From House To Home. If you're new here, my name is Ellie and we do lots of fun crafting and DIYs on this channel. And today I'm so excited to be working with a super fun group of ladies. Today we're going to be working with Dollar Tree contact paper and joining me is Daisy DIY, Happiness Created in Our Grey House. So I'll be sure to leave the links to their channels as well as the playlists in my description box and let's get to it! Alrighty, for our first DIY today, I'm going to be using this tan planter from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to start off by giving it a couple coats of this white Rust-Oleum spray paint inside of my portable spray tent. And here's how our planter is looking now that it's all dry. Next, I'm going to be using some of this beautiful Dollar Tree contact paper from their kitchen area. It is a white and gold beautiful pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and measure enough to fit along the sides of our planter. And then I'm just going to carefully apply it. And once it's all covered, I'm going to go in with some Dollar Tree jute twine and I'm going to wrap it around the center of our planter a few times and secure it with my hot glue gun. Next, I'm going to make a cute little bow in the center and add one of these little wooden cutouts from the Dollar Tree to the front. And last but not least, I'm going to pop in some little plants that I have here at home. And that'll be it for this DIY. For our next project today, I'm going to be using one of these cute new little signs from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to start off by removing the tag, and I really like the bead look on top, so I'm just going to go in and carefully stain them using some Waverly Antique Wax. Next, I use my Silly Cameo 4 to print out this little stencil that says home with a cute little wreath. And I'm just going to fill it in using some black folk art chalk paint and some antique green chalk paint. Next, I'm going to go ahead and distress the border of our sign using a little bit of white Waverly chalk paint. Alrighty, and that'll be it for this DIY. Super quick and easy. I absolutely love these little frames. I should have picked up a couple more. <laughs> and if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I always leave the links to my social media in my description box as well, like to my blog and my Instagram. And this is where I share sneak peeks and behind the scenes, so don't forget to check out those links as well. For our next project today, I'm going to be using one of these little canisters from the Dollar Tree, I believe from their gifts section. And I'm just going to be using the bottom of it as well as some more of our beautiful contact paper. So first I'm going to go in and measure the amount of contact paper we need. Then I'll go ahead and apply it all the way around our canister. And here's how it's looking now that it's all wrapped. Next, I'm going to go in with some of this Dollar Tree burlap ribbon and I'll just use my hot glue gun to secure it in the back. Then I'm going to go all the way around our canister using some Dollar Tree jute twine and then I'll make a cute little bow in the front. Mm -hmm. 
And to put on the front of our little bow, I went ahead and painted one of these mini snowflakes from the Dollar Tree using some white Waverly chalk paint. And I'll just use my hot glue gun to add it here in the center. And last but not least, I'm going to pop in some of these beautiful Dollar Tree Pinecone Floral Picks, and I'll add that inside of our vase. And if you wanted to add real flowers, you could always add in one of those skinnier Dollar Tree glass vases inside. For our next DIY today, I'm going to be using these medium-sized beads that I actually got off of a Dollar Tree frame, as well as a Christmas tag, and some smaller beads. So I'm going to start off by painting our medium beads using some gold folk art paint, and then our smaller beads using some white Waverly chalk paint. Next, for our little Christmas tree tag, I went ahead and used a pencil to trace the outline of our tree onto some of our contact paper. I'll go ahead and cut it out and then apply it to both sides of our little tree. Next, I'm going to use just a little bit of hot glue to secure our contact paper, and I'm going to distress the edges a bit using some white Waverly chalk paint. Then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to add this cute little bow I made using some jute twine and a little mini gold pine cone to the front of our little Christmas tree. Then I'm going to go ahead and thread our beads onto another piece of jute twine. And then I'll go ahead and tie our tag onto one end and I made a cute little jute twine tassel for the other end. Alrighty, and that'll be it for our adorable little beaded garland DIY. I think it came out so cute. And for our last DIY today, I'm going to be using one of these Dollar Tree tin boards. And I'm going to start off by measuring the center, and I'm going to be adding some more of our beautiful Dollar Tree contact paper to the center. And I went ahead and secured the edges just to make sure it doesn't move. Next, I'm going to go in with some more of these little Dollar Tree wooden snowflakes, and I'm going to stain them using some antique Waverly wax. And then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to add our little snowflakes onto some Dollar Tree magnets. And I'm going to be using them for our little command center here. And then I'm also going to add some little pearl stickers to the top of each snowflake. Alrighty, now that we have all of our little magnets here, I have a couple of these dry erase decals, and I'm just going to write on this one, 32 days until Christmas, I can't believe it, and then I'll just add them to our little command center. And then I made a cute little bow using some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon, and I'm going to use my hot glue gun to add that to the top of our sign, as well as a few little greenery picks from a Dollar Tree pick to each side. And with these last little finishing touches, that'll be it for today's fun contact paper DIYs. I think they came out so cute. Please let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below.
Thank you so much for watching today's episode, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, as well as that little notification bell to be notified when I release new content. And I'll be sure to leave the links to my Etsy shop, as well as my social media in my description box. And we'll see you next time. Bye!